welcome to my second video for my clinical experience. This video is on clinical sites, clinical sites. Sorry, I'm getting weird because I'm tired. So, um, basically, if you are new to um, the programs at your school, let me kind of backtrack. Um, every program that you have for respiratory therapy, they have um, clinical hours, so they send you to different hospitals. Um, each program has different amount of rotations and different amount of hours that they do. Um, in my particular program, we have four rotations um, that are five weeks, 24 hours each week. Uh, you can do the math because I'm too tired for that. Uh, I know it's not as many hours as um, certain other programs I've heard about, so that's kind of a bummer because I wish I would have known that I want more hours. <laughs> um, anyway, so back to clinical venues. Basically, for my program, what we do is we do our intro classes, and then we'll do a clinical round, then we'll go back to class, and then do another clinical round, and it's in five-week intervals. Um, class, clinicals, class, clinicals. So uh, the class before my first rotation, they told us um, what site we would be going to and our schedule. Uh, when we received that information, everybody was super excited, uh, which is understandable. It's like, yes, we get to apply the stuff that we're learning and we get it reinforced and um, we get our hands dirty and in the field. So um, of course, we went to the upperclassmen, and we were all like, Hey, have you guys got this site before? Uh, what was your experience? Uh, tell us all about it. And that's good. I encourage people to do that. But at the same time, I kind of want you guys to take everything people say with a grain of salt because just because someone had a negative experience, or maybe your whole school had a negative experience, that doesn't mean you are. You know, your experience is how you want it to be. If you want to have a lousy time or if you go in there thinking it's going to be horrible, it's going to be horrible. But if you go in there like, I'm ready to learn, I'm going to ask all these questions, um, I'm going to make this the best experience possible, then you're going to have a good experience. So just keep that in mind when you actually go to your site. Um, a lot of people from my site in particular, they were saying a lot of negative things and um, I kind of took it with a grain of salt because, you know, everyone has different work ethics, everyone has different personalities. Maybe they didn't mesh well with the co-workers that are there, um, or the workers that are there, they're not co-workers because we don't work there. <laughs> but um, yeah, maybe they didn't mesh well personality-wise or maybe their work ethic was lacking, things like that. Um, so I just kept an open mind that way. Um, also, um, keep in mind that your clinical experience is a long interview process. Uh, when you graduate, you're going to need places to apply, and I highly recommend you apply to all the places that you did your clinical rounds at because they get to know you, and you're there anyway so build good experiences show that you're dedicated and show all the best qualities you can so you know you have more of a chance to get a job opportunity with them than you know other places and even if it's a place you don't want to work if that's the only job offer you have get it you know you do a year working there or whatever you need to do and then apply to the places you really want to be you know I'm not telling you settle for less but get your foot in the door somehow. Um, have a plan. Have a backup plan. Have a backup plan for your backup plan. Um, what else? When you are there, um, make the best of it. Get some, you know, contact info from your preceptors or even some, like, nurses. Um, I unfortunately did not get numbers from nurses or any contact information from them because I didn't think about it until my clinical round was already over. Um, but I do highly suggest that you guys get 
um, references. Just tell your preceptor or tell whoever is working with you that day or through those days, um, hey, I really like how you teach. Um, is it okay if I get your number for, you know, if I have any questions going into the future um, for my other classes or, you know, if when I graduate, could I use you as a reference? You know, they're really open to it. You know, when you build rapport with someone, they'll help you out. You know, don't, don't be rude to them and be like, I need a reference or whatever, but, you know, build rapport, show your respect, get references. It's really important that you see this as business opportunities and ways to, you know, put your best foot forward and prepare for your future because that's the whole idea of clinicals. So um, with that in mind, let me go on to my experience with my venue. So like I said, a lot of um, my upperclassmen had negative experience. There was a couple who loved it there where I was located, which I kind of don't want to disclose, but um, there are some people who loved it there. There were some people who didn't. A lot didn't. Um, and like I said, I just took it with a grain of salt. Um, my experience personally, I felt like, no joke, it was the best place for me to be. Because one, the place that I was at, it was not an emergency room or a trauma center. I feel like if that would have been my first rotation, it would have scared me away, <laughs> to be honest. I, I'm more confident now that I can handle those types of things. But um, yeah, so I was terrified of that being for my first rotation. So um, I was mainly in a subacute. And it was, you know, slow pace, kind of routine, not really, but like I got to take my time with things, learn things. Um, I got to do a lot there too. A lot of like hands-on experience that a lot of people didn't get in my class. You know, some people didn't even get to section a patient at their rounds and I'm just like, well, I did a lot more than that. And even if I did the same things over and over again, I got really confident. So I'm pretty sure like when I go to my next rotation, I'm going to be like, yeah, you want a breathing treatment done? I'll go do that. You want this patient suctioned and changed or whatever? I'll, I'll do that. So all the things I did were reinforced. It was at a pace that I was comfortable with. By the end of um, my clinical rounds, I was basically like running their department for them. So I was super proud of myself and I, f I got the confidence that I needed. Sorry about that my alarm. I got the confidence that I needed to get. You know, um, I got exposed to a code, which is going to be another video. Um, I got exposed to death for the first time. That was something. And, you know, I was able to, to go through it and cope with it. And my preceptor helped me um, out with like how to handle it and I don't know if if I was in a busier place I don't know if I would have been able to do the things that I did in the time that I was able to do um, so for me for my personality I felt like you know this was a spot-on placement for me and I know that mm, I know that my schedule had a lot to do with my placement to that particular site um, but I really believe that if my teacher that my teacher would have placed me there anyway because I feel like it was really a good fit for me especially this rotation so um other than that I mean I had an amazing time I'm really excited for my next clinical rounds um which I'll be telling you guys about in a different video, probably not today, not in this series of videos I'm going to shoot, but um, soon, soon, soon. Um, I'm not starting until September, but I do know where I'm going to be placed at, so I kind of want to do a video on that and um, tell you guys how I'm handling that. So um, that's all I have to say about the clinical sites. Just keep an open mind take it as a business opportunity and get your contacts um, 
enjoy it. I mean, if you don't have fun in clinicals, I don't know what to tell you because this is going to be your job in the future. Um, really have fun with it because this is what you're going to be doing. If you're not happy doing your rounds, maybe it's a sign that this field isn't for you. Or maybe, maybe not. Maybe you guys want to do sleep studies and that's why you're going through this whole process. Or maybe you want to do um, just like PFT testing and stuff like that. Who am I? But just keep that in the back of your head. So, anyway, that's my opinion. That's my experience. So, look out for the third video on tips. Tips for clinical rounds and advice. My two cents, you know, that. Anyway, bye!